So now let's see how we can work around with fuzzy selection tool inside of GIMP. So over here you can see that uh, the fourth icon right here is the fuzzy select tool right here. So once you do that, what you can do is you can simply click and a range of color is selected as you can see right here. Like I can select this ocean or this bench right here and the similar color is selected. But let's say what I want to do is I want to select this range of the sea right here. In that case, I can simply click and drag around right here and it selects out the range of color as you can see right here. So I can go around and click and drag around and add on right here just like this and it selects that particular range of color as well. And that is how um, it actually goes around and does the selection. If I were to press Ctrl C and Ctrl V right here, you can see that this is the selection that it made right here. Apart from that, if I were to go around over here under the threshold, you can go around and change the threshold amount. That means the range of the color and the uh, amount of um, uh, the color it selects actually changes around as I change around the threshold as you can see right here, more amount is selected. So if I were to go around and make the amount less right here, then only a certain portion is selected. But as I change around the threshold, more amount is selected. And I can go around and increase and decrease the threshold by clicking and dragging. So what I did earlier was actually changing around the threshold right here. And that is how you can select out similar colors. And especially when you have, let's say, for example, uh, let me just go around and open out another image right here. So let's just go around and open out, uh, let's say, for example, this image over here. Uh, then what happens is that if I were to go around and select this right here, so let's just go around onto magic select over here, you can see that a range of color like green is selected as I click on it. And I can click and drag this around to select out more of the same color range right here or this orange right here, click and drag around and it selects out the orange portion right here, just like this, as you can see, and it works more for flat colors. So that is how you can utilize the fuzzy selection tool right here inside of GIMP. So if you guys learn something as always, and as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.